Hi everybody, welcome to Scuba Diving Magazine. So Apple yesterday officially announced their Apple Watch Ultra that can act as a scuba diving computer falling in line with other smart watch brands. It of course does a lot of the clever smart watch things but I'm just going to concentrate on the scuba and apnea stuff for now. So water resistant to 100 meters but they only state that you can use it for recreational scuba diving down to 40 meters and should not be used for diving below 40 meters. So it's squarely aimed at the recreational diving market. Divers who want to wear a smartwatch day to day, but don't want to take it off and swap it out for a dive computer for a dive on one of their holidays. There is a slightly worrying sentence in the small print. Water resistance is not a permanent condition and can diminish over time, which is true, but you never like to read that on your dive computer. But based on some of the waterproofing issues that Apple had with some of their previous waterproof products, they're probably just playing it safe. For this model, Apple partnered up with Hewish Outdoors, who distribute Oceanic, uh, as well as Atomic Aquatics, Hollis, Bear, Zeal, uh, and the new Apple Watch can connect to a new Oceanic Plus app, which will be available later this year in the autumn or the fall. Um, and it has all sorts of useful features, but it is going to be a paid app. The watch will go diving for free, but if you want to use the app to go with it, it's going to cost you $80 a year. There are different subscription tiers. Uh, if you only want to use it for a day, that's going to set you back $5 each day, uh, $10 per month if you're just paying for a month subscription. And there's also a family share for up to five users for $130 a year if you have if you all have Apple Watches. For free, you get snorkeling, scuba, gauge, and I believe Nitrox modes. The only place that I could find that they explicitly mention Nitrox is on Oceanic's video about the Pay4 app. The Apple webpage doesn't mention Nitrox. It doesn't get into the real nitty gritty scuba diving features on the Apple webpage. And I can't believe that they'd hide something like Nitrox behind a paywall, but I guess we'll find out later this year when it's actually available. Now, I haven't seen any reference to wireless air integration neither yet, so I don't think that's going to be a feature on this model, but you never know, maybe it's going to be a later upgrade. If you do pay for the app, uh, then you're going to get a dive planner, a pretty comprehensive dive planner with tide data, uh, community dive information and conditions so if you're going to a popular dive site you'll probably get visibility and water temperature data from other users so you know what you're getting yourself into the watch itself is going to set you back 850 pounds or 849 pounds and you can choose the strap that comes with it um, because it's being sold as like a multi-sport dive computer with gps it's also being marketed towards like the mountaineering and the hiking crowd but as scuba divers, we have a dedicated ocean band made for scuba divers. For user interface, you have two buttons, uh, one on either side and a rotating digital crown and a fairly decent sized color screen. But what do you think? Um, I at least want to get my hands on one of them to, uh, to see what features it actually has and how it works and functions underwater as a dive computer. Ticks all of the boxes for recreational dive computer for a scuba diver that just wants to go diving every now and then. It's got a Buhlmann algorithm on the inside with gradient factors. Uh, again, something that's mentioned on the Oceanic app, but not on the Apple web page. Now, because it's a smartwatch, the only computer that we can really compare it directly against is going to be something like the Garmin Descent, one of the Mark IIs, because uh, it doesn't have that wireless air integration. The Mark II S retails for £100 more than the Ultra. Um, and as far as actual like dedicated dive computers, we're sort of in like Sunto Eon Steel price ranges to, uh, to put it into perspective. But yeah, what what do you think? Would, would this work for you, a day-to-day uh, -day smartwatch with some scuba features but nothing too serious in it um would you be investing in the app to go with it if you did get this watch um is this the future of dive computers though uh, i mean we don't have dedicated dive computers anymore um it's just becomes a, a feature on our smart watches um what's what's most important to you let us discuss it down in the comments below and if you found out any more information online anything that's been released um 
what it can or can't do, then by all means, pop it down in the comments. Thank you for watching, everybody, and of course, safe diving.